All right, what's up guys? Okay, so really quick, there's an article that was posted about a half hour ago from Washington Post. Again, I'll post the link in the description. You guys can click and read it. Um, it's stating that investigators to this day is still struggling to find the motive behind the killer. Um, the shooter within Las Vegas. Um, they pretty much, we can rule out, you know, Antifa's involvement. You know, like last night in my video that we was talking about. And I told you guys that it, you know, I really didn't think that it was that. Um, and also, I was having a hard time believing ISIS, the idea of ISIS. Um, one of the investigators saying that he can't get in the mind of a psychopath. And I, I agree 100% with that statement. I mean, just, just to do this, regardless of if you had an influence or not. I mean, you had to have been fucked up in the head to even, you know, go through with this. And like I said, this, this had to have been a premeditated attack. You know, it was definitely thought out. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of conspiracy going on online right now about two shooters multiple shooters and honestly guys i haven't looked into that yet um as this keeps going and you know obviously like i said the path that i'm going to i'm leading to dead ends you know i don't i can't find the motive they deemed mary lou um his girlfriend you know no longer a person of interest but as i stated out and brought out to you guys last night that she was already out of the country when this happens so i mean there's there's really not a motive as to you know it brings up the question as if maybe they got into a fight you know and she went and visited family um one article said that she was in tokyo another one said that she was in the philippines uh stated that she has family in the philippines i told you guys yesterday that she moved to nevada back in 2003 um, but nowhere did it say that she was, you know, a, born and raised in America or if, in fact that she immigrated from here and became a U.S. citizen. There's no, no information on that. Um, her Facebook account is shut down already. Um, she's not a person of interest at this time. And that, that right there just seems a little odd to me. Um, if she would be the only person that we can talk to to find out, you know, in depth what was going through this man's head even in their personal moments um she's the only person that could describe that to us right now the brother lives in orlando had no clue that his brother owned that many guns claimed that he even helped him move and had maybe a, a handful of pistols and one rifle but yet they found 19 rifles in the room um again you know listening to some of the live videos you know it does sound more more and more like there was more than one gunner but like i said i haven't entertained that idea enough to you guys to even you know talk about that but um i'm gonna post the article in the link description the investigators are still you know mind boggled at it they they're struggling to figure out the motive and that's the same thing that we're trying to do over here at ls network we're just trying to you know see what motivated this individual to do this um even if you was a psychopath you know there's still some kind of motivation even if um you know vegas says that you've been a known gambler but you kept to yourself you know that's just not psychopath tendencies um so anyways guys you know just a little heads up let you guys know what's still being talked about within vegas i seriously think mary lou should get her ass back to the country and the fbi or the cia or whoever needs to snatch her up and start asking questions she's definitely a person of interest so get it done.